Hey guys, Chris here with Omnimetrics and welcome to the next installment of the OmniView tutorial series. In today's video, I'm very excited to be showing you the all new unit activation page that we just released within OmniView. Now this page will save you time when installing and activating your unit by eliminating the need to call tech support and increase the self-serve functionality that OmniView already provides. This also provides increased efficiency because certain fields tie back to the edit monitor page, thus eliminating the need to have to fill out the same information in multiple places. It just auto fills right back in. I'll go over those things a little more in depth later in this video, but without further ado, let's dive right in. So before we get started, there are two things that I did want to mention. One is a time saving tip. The other is a money saving tip. So before you get started, it is important to do all these steps before the device is powered on. Now, if you got the unit and got excited, plugged it in and powered it on, that's completely fine. It will just add a few extra steps as well as a little bit of time to make sure the unit is activated properly. But again, it's important to do everything that I'm about to show you prior to powering the device on. The second is the money saving tip. Very, very important. There's a button that I will show you once you fill all the information out and send all the commands, and it's the activate button. Once you hit that activate button, the unit will be billed. So whether it's completely installed or whether you're just doing this to set up and it's not installed on the unit yet and you're gonna do it a week later, if you hit activate, the billing cycle will start right when you hit it. So just wanted to mention that before we get started and log in, just those two tips. So let's log into OmniView and get started. So now that you're logged into OmniView, I'll show you where to find the unit activation page. So on the left hand side, click configuration and you'll scroll and find unit activation and this will take you to that actual page. Now, first thing you'll need to find is the unit ID. This will be either on the monitor or on the box. You can find it in both places, but that will be the target unit ID. You can click the drop down and scroll to find it, or these actual fields have the ability to type and filter. So I'm gonna type in the unit ID for this test unit, and you notice it filters it out for you, and just select it. Now, the second thing you'll need to do is the source unit. This is to program the actual monitor based on the generator brand and control panel you have along with the monitor type you have. So the name and convention will have the monitor type, so TrueGuard 2 or TG2, that's our residential monitor, or TG Pro, TrueGuard Pro, that's our commercial monitor. The second piece of the naming convention will be the generator brand, so it could be Briggs & Stratton, Kohler, Generac, any of those, and I will show you uh, the Briggs & Stratton version for the residential, and it will also have the actual control panel. So if you go to source unit, same way, you can scroll to find the specific one, or in this instance, we're gonna do a residential, which is a TG2, Briggs & Stratton, and it'll give you the options for those. I'm gonna pick the Briggs & Stratton residential hardwire. That'll be the one that I do. And once you select it, you'll see the source unit pop up here. And then you will simply click copy config. Once the pop-up comes up, hit yes. And the configuration will be copied. Now, this second section here, this is what transfers over to the edit monitor page. So the description, I'm going to type in Chris's test unit. So when it comes onto your actual dashboard, it will show Chris's test unit as the dashboard. I will type in the location. And if you type it in and click it, notice it actually fills in the latitude and longitude for you so you don't have to type it. I'm going to make it active because I'm going to pretend I'm activating it now. You can select the controller type so same thing, you can scroll up and down or type in Briggs. I'm going to type in the Briggs 1031 slash 1032. I am in the Eastern time zone. I can select the gas type or fuel type and any notes. So what I would normally see is the activation date or install date. So you can put any notes that you want to in here. And this will all transfer the edit monitor page so you don't have to do that again. Hit update monitor and that will save everything for you. Now, because I already hit copy config, if I scroll down, 
you can see all the raw data. Now everything is green for this test. This is what it'll look like if the unit was powered on prior to the installation. Now once you hit the copy config and if it has not been powered on, you will see it red. So if you have it powered on, this is what you need to do just to send it. You'll go to command here and you can either hit download loader file for the TG2 or get data. Now I'm going to show you both on the residential and the commercial unit. So for this, notice the loader file was 20. So I'm going to hit download loader file and then type in the value 20 here. Send command. Refresh. Give it a couple seconds. And you will see the actual data being sent and notice it shifts to yellow. So once everything goes in, everything will turn green and that's when the unit will be receiving the data. You can scroll up here and just hit activate and that will activate the unit for billing. It's just that simple. If you do not see anything in the raw data feed, please contact our tech support team or if you see a lot of red or different colors and you're confused, you can contact our tech support team and they can walk you through anything you need. So now I'm going to show you the same process, but on the commercial unit. So the same deal, you will find the target unit ID, the unit ID, I already typed it in for this, it's 48038. And then we will go to source unit. So I will do a TG Pro. And let's do a Cummins PCC. Same thing. You can hit copy config. Now I may have mentioned this in the residential unit. You can either refresh this page to see the command or just click refresh down here. I went ahead and typed all the information in the edit monitor page first, but if you want to just see the command, make sure everything went through, you can do it this way as well. Notice it comes right through. I see the red because the unit has not been activated yet. So, now I have it, I have the description, I will type in the address as well. Same thing, make sure it's checked active, latitude, longitude, I can do basic controller, hardwire, I'm going to do a Cummins, let's find the right one. PCC 3100, fuel type will be, let's just say diesel, and any notes, uh, activating unit four slash 30, time of the video. I can hit update monitor. It'll update all that for information. As I mentioned, it'll be on both the edit monitor page and in the dashboard, which I'll show you. And you'll be able to see the raw data here. Now, for a commercial unit, you will not be able to download the loader file, you'll have to send the get data command, which just simply change get data. Don't worry about any of these values. When you send the command, you'll see it pop up in the raw data feed here, and that'll do the same thing for you. Once you are ready, again, just simply click activate, and it will start the billing cycle, and everything will be done. I will actually show you the dashboard here. Notice we have the test unit, fuel type, and then the residential unit that I already set up is already in my dashboard and activated. Now you notice the commercial test unit has a green envelope. That means messaging has been set up. For the residential, it has not been. You'll have to go in and set up the users and the message recipients. I'll link the video to that tutorial below, but that's all you need to do to activate your units. And if you have any questions, if you have any issues, please remember you can contact our tech support team at any time. 770-209-0012, just hit option two, and they can help you with any issue that you may have. So that's the unit activation page. I hope this video saves you time on future installs as well as makes this whole process easier for you. As I like to end all of these videos, if you do need help through any of these or any other issues you may have with OmniView, you can contact our tech support team at 770 
209-0012. Just hit option two and that'll connect you with them. You can also go to the customer support section within OmniView. It's on the left hand side in the bottom and submit a ticket to our tech support team. You can provide OMV2 feedback. If you click that link, it'll allow you to provide feedback on features you may want to see that better enhance OmniView for you and for your customers. You can also find video tutorials like this one, as well as new product information, install guides, and so much more. So don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on social media, and keep up with all the latest and greatest from Omnimetrics. On behalf of all of us, we thank you for your partnership and support, and we'll see you next time.